Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, what's up? Another beautiful Monday, you know? Yeah, beautiful for a tornado season right now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How we doing? Good, how you doing? I'm well. Doing well. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Carlos, what's up? Hi. Hey. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday, what's happening? I, I, I got too much sauce. That's why it be dripping on. Oh. I can't understand how other sellers are making any profit when they do FBM uh, because when I uh, compare with a price I get from USPS, it doesn't make sense. So maybe they have uh, an agreement with uh, Amazon, right? Well, you'd be surprised. First of all, there's no way to know that they're actually making any money on those listings, right? They could just be in a point where they need the cash flow back and they're selling at a break even or a loss. So that's always something to consider. Also, I don't know if anybody heard of it, but about four or five months ago, there was a huge scandal where a few companies, it was either right here in New Jersey or upstate New York, they were manipulating shipping weights and packaging sizes and saving tens of thousands of dollars a month stealing from the USPS and the FedEx and UPS by just putting in the incorrect information. So that could be a possibility as well. You know, so if you see a listing that you're not making money on it when you run the numbers, it's not always because someone's getting a better rate on shipping. They could be manipulating the system. Drop shipping. Yeah, or they could be drop shipping. Do they charge customers for shipping most of the times or they pay by themselves the shipping rate? Which one is better? I mean, most of the times you... We, we always like to include the shipping cost in the cost of the product. That's, that's just a preference for us. And the way I see it is, you know, whenever I shop on Amazon and I see like $12.99 plus $6 for shipping, I instant, I don't even want to look at that shit. You know, it's like, I want free shipping. That's why I'm on Amazon, because I don't want to pay for shipping. Even though the shipping's included in the price, I don't want to see it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to pay for it. So I would suggest just including it in your price. Okay, so you mean that if I use uh, USPS in, inside the Amazon, the price will be uh, lower than if I go to USPS and want to send a stuff, right? because I haven't used FBM uh, yet, so I don't that's, have any experience. That's where you're you're probably um, going wrong there is because you're, you're, are you taking your packages to the post office and trying to ship them? I was trying, yes. Yeah, yeah you're, you're gonna get a higher price inside the post office. You gotta do it through Seller Central. Uh-huh, I see, okay. I was gonna add, because I have a bunch of items that I've been um, sending out FBM, and like Steve said, they're running a bunch of promotions right now. I noticed with some of my items, depending upon where it's going in the country, sometimes, actually lately, I've been getting a ton of cheap shipping through UPS and UPS Ground. Yep. Um, and so yeah. it, it depends upon the promotion they're running in that part of the country. Mm -hmm. um, but absolutely go through Seller Central because even just depending upon, I'll notice if I change from one poly bag to a different, slightly different dimensions, it'll flip flop from either UPS being the cheapest to USPS. So play around with it a little bit. Sometimes if you just change your packaging up, um, you can save a dollar or so on the package. And also they're gonna give you a bunch of options. They're gonna ask you to put in the dimensions first and then put in the weight. And then they give you a list of like 10 options and where it's gonna get there the cheapest to meet your timelines, your guaranteed promises of arrival. And then, if, and then from there, let's say you're like, well, this box is a little heavy and this isn't a fragile item and I can shove it into a poly bag and still get it there stable. You could save money even that way and sometimes save a decent amount of money. So just keep that in mind. Definitely always go through Seller Central with FBM. Perfect, thanks. And is there any way that uh, we uh, calculate the shipping rate before we, we sell that item as a FBM? You can try to create an MCF. What was that, Tiago? He can try to create the MCF order, then uh, check. The can, amount I, of can, I, money. can I ask him a question? How how heavy is the item? Oh, it's less than one pound. And is it is it soft like you could throw it into a poly bag or it requires a box? Yes, I think uh, I I don't know because I haven't uh, still uh, sent and I ask in general. But yes, both both uh, you you can consider both situations. So if it if it can be put in a poly bag and uh -huh. let's say for argument's sake the dimensions are. I would say like nine by seven by two, and it's under a pound, you're gonna be $4 or less 
shipping. Nine by seven by two, right? It's yep. inches. Yeah, I would say about nine, about nine inches by like seven inches by two inches. Uh huh. You're going to be about four dollars or less. Uh huh. For the, with the current for promotions, the... approximately. I see. Um, and then if you're, let's say, twelve by nine and a half by two, you probably and it's over a pound, you're going to be around eight dollars or less. What was the weight? I, I have some packages that are even three pounds. That so long as I keep it within those Actually, dimensions on a poly bag, um, it's still eight dollars or less. Eight dollars or less. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, like I have look one item that, that's almost four pounds that I'm I'm still not spending over eight bucks on. Look into um, flat rate envelope, flat rate or legal uh, envelopes. You can sometimes get products uh, about seven forty five to eight dollars shipped out in those. Yep. Depends on on what the product is. And what is what is your your shipping handling time? Is it one day, two day? What what are you using for your shipping and handling time? Because because if you have your handling time set up for like two or three days, uh -huh. if you ship out on that first day, you can normally get the best price. And if you wait until that last minute to ship, um, your prices could possibly increase because now uh -huh. it's it's they're trying to use a method that's going to get the item to the customer within that certain time frame. So the more time you give yourself, the better pricing you can possibly get if you ship out on that first day. Yeah. Agreed. I I have two day. Um, I give myself a two day handling time, but I try to ship it out as soon as I get the order, um, and it always gives me a, a fantastic buffer for getting it there on time. Yeah. Also, I just posted in the uh, chat. Amazon has a seller shipping rate, so it's just it's a close estimate to what the cost will be. It gives you you know the base and then the per pound additional, so you can get a, a you know within a dollar of what it's actually going to be by using that. Great, great call. Another great call. Appreciate all of you. Yeah, absolutely. So if you got any questions, hit us in the Facebook group and uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hey, doll. All right. Bye. I know. Have a good evening. Yeah. Good night. I'll see you at the top. Good night, night. everyone. Hey, lit.